subscribe and hit the bell icon. The Australian Pelican. Hi everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger and this is my puppy, Hero. You want to play with this ball, Hero? Okay, you stand over there and I'll throw it. Then you try to catch it. Okay, Hero, are you ready? Catch! Well done, Hero. Let's do that again. Here I go. Oops, that was too high. It must be behind the bushes. Hey, what a funny looking bird. It has such a large beak. It caught the ball. It must fit a lot in that beak. I wonder what type of bird this is. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Now hold still, bird. Hi, Katie. Did you find any information? You're just in time, Leo. Look, this bird is called an Australian pelican. They have the largest beak in the world. They also have huge wings when they are spread out. So they live in Australia? Correct. And in parts of Papua New Guinea and Indonesia. They like to live around water. The pelican in our garden looks very small. Is it a baby? It's not a baby, but it's still very young. It might still need its parents to feed it. This young Australian pelican might be looking for its parents. Let's take it home. I'm joining you, Leo. See you downstairs. I'll jump in and find out what's going on. Great idea, Leo. There's a fishing line wrapped around the pelican's foot, and the other end of it is stuck in the rocks. Hero! Hero has snapped the line. Great work, Hero. Come on, Pelican. Let's get you out of here. You're a hero, Hero. Look, Leo. The Pelican's foot got entangled in this. People really shouldn't be throwing things like that into the sea. A lot of sea creatures have been hurt by rubbish being thrown in the water. You're right, Katie. I'm glad the Pelican is all right. Now let's take it home. Katie, look! There are two big pelicans coming towards us. It's the young pelican's parents. They recognize it. We did it! We found the pelican's home and its parents. Great work, everyone! Yay! Yay! an Australian pelican in our garden. We learned that pelicans live near water. So we took the young pelican home and reunited it with its parents. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers.
The Atlantic Puffin. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger, and this is my puppy, Hero. Look, Hero, this is a remote-controlled car. I can make the car move using this controller. I can make the car go round in circles. I can make the car drive in a figure eight. I can make the car drive really far away. And I can make it drive back again. It's a bird. Where did you come from? I've never seen a bird like this before. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? Yes, I did, Leo. The bird you found is an Atlantic puffin. Atlantic puffins can be recognized by their colorful beaks. Like most birds, Atlantic puffins can fly. But they can also swim underwater using their wings and webbed feet. The Atlantic puffin is a fast swimmer and can stay underwater for up to a minute. The Atlantic puffin mostly eats small fish such as herring and sand eels. Atlantic puffins can catch several small fish in one dive. They use their tongue to hold fish in their mouth so they leave their beaks free to catch even more fish. That's amazing! I've never seen such a bird before. Where does it come from? Atlantic puffins come from far up north. They live on sea coasts and islands around the Atlantic Ocean. More than half of the world's Atlantic puffins are found around Iceland. About 8 to 10 million puffins live there. That's a lot of puffins. So our puffin is a really long way from Iceland, and it's too hot for it to stay here. We should bring it back home. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. For lots of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go. For lots of fun and lots to learn. Well, here we are. I don't see any puffin nests around here. Maybe we can find some below the cliff. Let me take a closer look. Whoa! Leo! Leo! Um... I could use some help, Katie. I can't reach you, Leo. Let me get a rope. Hang on. Oh, no. There's no rope in the Jeep. Leo, I can't find a rope. I have rope in my backpack, remember? Can you throw one end of the rope? I, I don't think so, Katie. One wrong move and I'll fall. Oh, no! What can we do now? Oh! Hi, Puffin! Thank you, Puffin! Now we can pull Leo up! Why don't you use the Jeep? That's much, huh? Easier! Great! Katie already had the same idea! Ranger Rocky! You should be more careful, Junior Ranger. Cliff edges can be unstable or very slippery, so stay away from them. Yeah, that wasn't very smart of me. Well, at least you're safe now, Leo. Yeah. Look, it's the Puffin's partner. We did it! We found the Puffin's nest. Great work, everyone. Hooray! Yay! in our garden. We learned that Atlantic puffins return to the same nest every year to breed. 
So we went to Iceland to help the puffin find its nest. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The white-bellied woodpecker. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger, and this is my puppy, Hero. Hero, is that a bone you have? <laughs> Do you know what Hero is doing? That's right. He dug a hole to bury his bone to save it for later. What's that sound? Hero, I don't think it comes from your bone. Do you hear it too? Let's go find out. It's a bird, and it's making holes in the tree. I wonder how it got here. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Now hold still, bird. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? You're just in time, Leo. The computer is looking for information about the bird. Here we go. It's a woodpecker. And this one is a white-bellied woodpecker. The white-bellied woodpecker is one of the biggest woodpecker out there. A white-bellied woodpecker? So why does it keep tapping against the tree? The woodpecker makes holes in trees to get food. It eats the insects in the tree trunks. I see. But does that not damage the trees? Some woodpeckers eat sap from the trees, which can damage those trees. But not the white-bellied woodpecker. It eats insects that might be harmful to the trees, so it keeps the trees healthy. I see. What a helpful bird. Where does it come from? White-bellied woodpeckers can be found in the tropical forests of Asia and Southeast Asia. By the way, the woodpecker you found is female. The male has a red mustache on the side of his cheeks, but females don't. Well, let's take her back to the forest where there are more trees for her to get food from. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Hungry. It's a good thing we always pack some sandwiches. Catch, Hero! Better be careful, Leo. You might attract wild animals with your food. Wait, do you hear that? Leo, look! It's wasps! Oh no! My food must have attracted them! They're coming closer! Throw my sandwich away. Perhaps they'll go after it. Now let's run! Oh no! Some of the wasps are still following us! Wow! <laughs> the woodpecker is eating the wasps. We should give her the space she needs. Let's take out our propellers. <laughs> Do you think it's safe to go down now? I think it is, Katie. Let's have a look. There you are, woodpecker. Do you think you had enough to eat? I think I had enough to eat, too. We did it! We found the family of our white-bellied woodpecker. Hooray! We found a white-bellied woodpecker in our garden. We learned that a white-bellied woodpecker pecks holes in trees to eat the insects in it. 
the woodpecker belongs to a place with many trees, so we returned her to her real home. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Indian Peacock. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy. Hero, leave that bird alone. <coughs> Be nice, Hero. You're much bigger than that bird. Hey, look. The bird dropped a feather. Feathers are important because they help birds fly, keep them warm, and hide them from predators. You found another feather, Hero. It must be from another bird. Look, it has a different color. Let's see if we can find more feathers. What is it, Hero? You found another feather? Wow, is that a feather? It looks so different from the other feathers. It's so big and it's so colorful. What was that? Wow, it's a big and beautiful bird. I wonder what kind of bird this is. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Wow, look at those feathers. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? Hi, Leo. So, the bird you found is... It's an Indian peacock, also known as a blue peacock. Well, it definitely is blue. And it's called an Indian peacock because it comes from India? That's right. It's usually found in the rainforests of India and Sri Lanka. Peacocks eat seeds, fruits, insects, and even small animals like lizards and snakes. What else did you find out, Katie? Actually, a peacock is a male, like the one you found. And a female is called a peahen. The peacocks, or males, are more colorful and have bigger tail feathers. The peahens, or females, have more dull-looking colors. Both the male and female are called a peafowl. So it's an Indian peafowl. Correct. Not all peafowls are blue, though. Some are born with white feathers. And peafowls are one of the largest flying birds in the world. Such an interesting bird. I don't think it belongs in our garden. We should bring the peacock back to its friends. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. For lots of fun and lots to learn One, two, off we go For lots of fun and lots to learn With the jeep, we should get there in no time What is it, Hero? Leo, it looks like some big cats are following us They could be jungle cats, Katie It says jungle cats are one of the peacock's predators this means jungle cats hunt peacocks for food. Don't worry, Katie. We're safe in the jeep. Oh, no. It looks like we have a flat tire. Can we change it? There's no time. Those jungle cats are too close. Quick, let's start walking. <laughs> Too many! <coughs> the peacock scared the jungle cats away by making itself look big. Good work, peacock! <coughs> oh. We did it! We found a group of peahens! an Indian peacock in our garden. 
We learned that peacocks are male peafowls. They have big tail feathers to impress the females, which are called peahens. So we went to the rainforest and found a group of peahens for the peacock. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The white-bellied sea eagle. Look, Hero, I have a new kite. Oh, hello. My name is Leo, and I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Let's fly the kite together. It'll be fun. We'll fly it high in the sky. We have to look for an open space to fly. Hey, look, there is another kite in the sky. Let's go and see who is there. Maybe we can fly our kites together. Hey, where did it go? It was just here a moment ago. What is it, Hero? Did you find the kite? Whoa, that's not a kite. It's a bird. I wonder what kind of bird it is. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Look over here, birdie. Hi, Katie. What have you got? You're here just in time, Leo. This bird is a sea eagle. There are eight types of sea eagles in the world. And the one you found is a white-bellied sea eagle. It has a dark-colored back and wings, but its head, belly, and tail are white. That's how you can tell it's a white-bellied sea eagle. I see. Where did it come from? White-bellied sea eagles are found in India and Sri Lanka, through Southeast Asia to Australia. They breed and hunt near water. White-bellied sea eagles eat sea animals like fish, turtles, and sea snakes. They also eat small birds and mammals. Well, it definitely does not belong in our garden. We should take it to a place where it can find food. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Lots of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go for lots of fun and lots to learn. The coastline is further ahead, but this river is also a large body of water. Do you think there are other white-bellied sea eagles here? We should look out for them. What is it, Hero? Hey, there's a large bird up there. Do you think it is our eagle's partner? I'm not sure, Leo. They sound different. Oh no, it looks like they're fighting. Hello, Junior Rangers. Have you found a large body of water yet? We found a river ranger, Rocky, but we also found a large bird. The sea eagle and the new bird are fighting. Oh my, what does this new bird look like? It looks a lot like our sea eagle, but this bird has a brown stripe over its eyes. The new bird sounds like an osprey. They also live near water to feed on fish. You must have entered its space. So they both like to eat fish. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. I have an idea. These birds look hungry. So let's find some fish for them. This looks like a good spot. Hero, you're first. <laughs> now we just need to wait for Hero. Here he is. <laughs> hey birds, there's enough for everybody. We did it! 
did it! We found the white-bellied sea eagle's partner! Nice work, everyone! Yay! We found a white-bellied sea eagle in our garden! We learned that white-bellied sea eagles live near water and that they will stay with their partner for the rest of their life. So we went to the coastline and brought it back to its partner. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Satin Bowerbird. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Hero, I'm looking for objects written on this list. Do you want to help me? <laughs> oh, great job, Hero. You found a ball. Hey, that's my sock. I've been looking for it. And this must be Katie's ribbon. Why are they all here? Did you take the blue objects from us? Is blue its favorite color? I wonder what kind of bird this is. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. Did you find out what kind of bird this is? We're about to find out in three, two... There you go. This bird is a satin bowerbird. A satin bowerbird? I've never heard of those birds before. So they come mainly from the east coast of Australia. That's right. The one in our garden is an adult male. Females and young males are greenish in color. They live in the woods and eat fruit, leaves, and some insects. They are called bowerbirds because the males build a bower to attract females. A bower? A bower is a structure only built by male bowerbirds. It is built on the ground. It looks like a bird's nest. But a bower is not a nest. Nests are where female birds lay their eggs. A bower is only used by male bowerbirds to attract female bowerbirds. This satin bowerbird might have built his bower somewhere, but it got lost. We should help him find his bower. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Satin Bowerbird, wait for us! Look, Katie, is that a bower? It is, Leo, which means we found it. But why is it taking things from the bower and putting it in the jeep? Um, I don't know. Hello, Junior Rangers. I forgot to tell you something important. Sometimes bowerbirds destroy bowers from other birds by stealing their decoration or removing twigs. Oh no, so that's what it's doing now. Thanks for telling us, Ranger Rocky. No, bowerbird, you shouldn't do that. He won't stop. Hey, where are you going, hero? Oh, Hero, that's a brilliant idea. The bird seems more interested in the flowers now. He completely forgot about the bower. Nice work, Hero. Let's quickly fix the bower before its owner comes back. Look, the owner of the bower is back. We found the bower of our satin bowerbird. Great work, everyone. Hooray! We found a 
satin bowerbird in our garden. We learned that male bowerbirds build bowers to attract females. So we took him to the rainforest to look for his bower. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Hola, exploradores juniors. Check out our Spanish channel by clicking the link in the description below. See you there.